This is an international conference to alert the public that brain death is not death. It's been uh, known that it is a billion dollar business and they invented the idea of brain death so that they could take out the organs and sell them at large sums of money. And we are presented now with the problem that they are even asking the church to allow uh, vital organs to be transplanted. And it is uh, no different to killing through abortion in the mother's womb to killing when uh, a family has a family member who has had an accident and uh, they don't know that the person declared brain death by the surgeons who are going to perform the extraction of vital organs is because it's a big business. They, they sell the hearts and the, and the liver and the pancreas for large sums of money and uh, under the pretense of giving life to someone else. But you cannot kill one life to save another. And this is why this book was written on purpose uh, with all the experts, scientists, philosophers, theologians from around the world who are fighting this war against the human body that is, going, that is being used for monetary reasons. So it's very important for families to know that when there is someone declared brain dead, there are ways of saving them. And we've had scientists presenting it here and that with certain scientific ways that they can lower the temperature of the body, they have been able to save people between 50, 60 and 70 percent. So it's not a hopeless case and, and people with brain damage can be saved and it is important that the families know that not to be um, taken for a ride, as they say, that the case is hopeless. People have been saved with re severe brain damage and uh, this is what this Congress is about. We also have brought experts from Canada, Dr. Andrew Armour, who presented it beautifully and simply that the heart is the most important part of the body, that it has its own little brain, that when the heart speaks, the brain listens. And this goes according to our beliefs as Catholics, because we know about the sacred heart of Jesus and the immaculate heart of Mary. Our Lord always spoke about the heart, and it is the most important part, which is of course the part that they take out to give to somebody else. So it's just to alert the general population to be aware that brain death is not true death. And even the Pope said that organs cannot be taken out unless it's a cadaver. Well, they are not cadavers because their heart is beating and they are breathing. So it's important for the population to know that. Thank you very much.